Hi, this video will demo the Travel Mapper app suite, the ultimate trip planning tool that seamlessly integrates with Google Sheets. Let's start off on the blueplanet.co website, which is the portal to start using Travel Mapper. To begin, click on Start Planning. Then click Sign In with Google. On my first time signing in, I'm going to select the Google account I want to use and make sure I check the permissions to allow Travel Mapper to function correctly. Then I'm redirected to the Travel Mapper dashboard. To create a new itinerary, click Plan New Trip. For this example, I'm going to plan a New York City trip. Click Confirm. Travel Mapper will then create a new Google Sheet file and set up the beautifully designed itinerary template for me. Once that's done, I'll be redirected to the planning interface. Here, I can add to my itinerary and use the drag and drop function to rearrange how my plans are ordered. I'm going to start by setting up some dates by clicking the Add Day button. Great. Now there are some days to work with in my itinerary. To add an item to the itinerary, click the Add Place button. I'm going to add a few things that are popular when visiting New York, like Washington Square Park and the Empire State Building. Then in this column, I'll add the Brooklyn Bridge, since I'm not sure which day in my itinerary this will be for yet. You can think of this column as a favorites column. Let's add one more item, which will be a hotel. Great. I have four things in my itinerary now, three that are associated with the date and one that is not. Let's see how I can update the categories for each item. If I hover over an item, I can see at the bottom left, add category shows up. When clicked, a pop-up will show up to allow me to select the category that the item belongs to. There are a set of basic categories for me to pick from. For this hotel, I'm going to choose Lodging as the category. Now, let's see how to create a new category. For Washington Square Park, I'm going to click Add Category and then Add New Category. I'm going to type in a name, select a color, and then click Add. Nice. Now I can see that Washington Square Park has been categorized as an outdoors activity. In addition to categorizing the items, I can also add a time, Add a cost, and to add more information, click the More button. This expands the card to allow me to edit the link, address, and any notes I want to add. Also, at the very bottom of the card, there are some icon buttons for me to move the item to the Favorites column, duplicate it, or delete it. To rearrange the itinerary, I can just click and drag the cards. I can reorder in a column or move the item to other columns. To save the itinerary, click the Save button at the bottom or use the hotkey. Command S for Mac users and Control S for PC users. All right, let's add some more places just to fill out the itinerary a bit more. Let's say I want to see a specific day of my itinerary on the map. I can hover over the bottom left of the column and click the map icon. This brings me to the map view where I can see those three places in my itinerary plotted on the map. To fit all the markers on the map, I can click this icon at the top left of the map. Then at the drop down menu right next to it, I can filter the map for the different days of my itinerary. Show all the activities in my itinerary, or even show only the activities with no dates. The map is super convenient to see what activities are near each other to help me order them, as well as see how far places are away from where I'm staying. Let's move on to the next view in the Travel Mapper Planner. On the left side here, I'm going to click the icon with the checks. This brings me to my checklist where I can input what I need to pack, like sunscreen, and what I need to do before actually going on the trip, like booking the hotel. Save the changes just as I would for the itinerary. Moving on, if I click on the envelope icon, I can see a summary of my itinerary, including how many days, what the total cost is, how many places I'll be visiting, and a breakdown of each day of the itinerary. Clicking the name of the place here navigates to the link that I specified. Clicking the address will open up the Google Maps for that location. Notice that I didn't have to research and get those links manually. They were automatically filled out for me by Travel Mapper. On this page, I can email this itinerary to myself to help me navigate and keep me organized while I'm on my trip or send it to anyone else. The email is also mobile friendly so that I can easily reference it while traveling. Finally, I can also export my itinerary to Google My Maps by downloading the KML file.
Here you can see the map of the itinerary in the web browser. I can also view this same map on my mobile phone using the Google Maps mobile app. This is perfect for localizing myself while I'm on my trip and easily navigating from place to place with tools I'm already familiar with. Awesome. Let's go back to the Travel Mapper website and take a look at what the Google Sheets file looks like for this itinerary. I can do that by clicking the icon at the top right of the planner interface. This brings me to the actual Google Sheet where all the information for my trip is stored. Here is the itinerary sheet where all the dates, places, and notes are stored. On the next sheet over, I can see the packing and to-do lists. Also, in this file, there's an expense tracker sheet called Split Costs that tracks all expenses and who paid for what. It automatically calculates who owes who at the end of the trip. Great, we've now seen how planning can be done on the Travel Mapper website and also the spreadsheet file where the itinerary data is stored in. If the Travel Mapper website is all you want to use, you can stop here. Continue on to see the benefits of the Google Sheets add-on and the Travel Mapper Chrome extension and how everything ties together. This next section will show how the Travel Mapper Google Sheets add-on works. This add-on works directly in the Google Sheets file, so I don't have to log into any website and I can plan directly within the Google Sheets file. The add-on can be used interchangeably with the Travel Mapper website. I already have the add-on installed. I'm going to go to the Extensions drop-down menu and select Travel Mapper. Here, there are a few options. If I'm starting with a completely blank Google Sheets file, I can select Start Here and then select Generate Template to create the itinerary template that is required for any version of the Travel Mapper app to work correctly. Since I already have the itinerary template in this file, I'm going to select View Map. This will open up a map in the sidebar. Now I can see my itinerary in the spreadsheet as well as a map in the same view. I'm going to show how I can automatically plot things on the map by typing places in the spreadsheet. In the activity column, I'm going to type in a few places in New York that I might want to visit. Once I'm done, I'm going to go to the map and click the Update Map button at the bottom. Travel Mapper will plot all these items on the map and add the addresses of those locations into the spreadsheet. And just like the Travel Mapper website, I can click Add Place to search for a specific location to add to my itinerary, which will then be highlighted on the map and the row will be highlighted in the spreadsheet. Let's say I want to custom categorize this activity. I can manually set the category in the cell, change its color, and make it appear on the map by clicking Update Map. I can also use conditional formatting to add the new category to the drop-down options to automatically assign its color when selected. Now I'm going to click the Edit Trip button in the sidebar. This opens up a modal that has the planner interface just like on the website. This includes the drag and drop interface, the map, the email summary, and export to Google My Maps functions. All right, you've seen how the Travel Mapper Google Sheets add-on works. Now let's check out the final piece of the Travel Mapper app, the Chrome extension. The Chrome extension lets me quickly save ideas, places, and anything else to my itinerary from any website I'm browsing. I already have the extension installed and pinned to my browser. I'm going to click on the Travel Mapper icon. If this is my first time signing in, I'm going to select the Google account consistent with all other Travel Mapper accounts and make sure I check the permissions to allow the app to function correctly. Once I'm signed in, all I need to do is to select the itinerary that I want to save ideas to. To save to my itinerary, I need to highlight the text, right click, and click Save to Itinerary. Or I can just use Command Shift S as a quick save hotkey. Let's see this in action. For example, I'm on TripAdvisor looking for things to do. I scroll down and see Grand Central Terminal and click into the page to check it out. If I like what I'm seeing, I'm going to select the text, right click on it and select save to itinerary. A modal will pop up to allow me to add any additional information if needed. I'm just going to fill out some of the details including cost, time, category, and notes. I can also set the date with this icon at the top right. Then I'll click save and it will automatically add the item to my chosen itinerary, including the web page link and if available, the location address to plot it on the map. Let's take a look at the spreadsheet to make sure it was saved correctly. 
Great, it looks like in row 18, Grand Central Terminal is added along with all the pertinent information. If I wanted to see this information on the Travel Mapper website, I would click the refresh button at the bottom right. This loads the latest version of the spreadsheet data into the planner interface. Now I can see all the things that I added to the itinerary from the Google Sheets add-on as well as the Chrome extension. And that's how travel planning is done with the Travel Mapper app. While you can certainly use all three apps to help you plan, using the Travel Mapper Chrome extension in conjunction with the website or the Google Sheets add-on would be the easiest way to start. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Please give Travel Mapper a try and let us know what you think in the comments. I'll leave links for everything in the description box below. Thanks for watching.